Yeah, I got this message from uh, his Black Eyed Supreme. I know you're a busy man, but you've got to do a video on this, sir. They're at it again. And I went and looked at the now these are all hypotheses. Uh, there's a belief that they're trying to dig up a belief that the first human ancestor came from Europe, not Africa. 7.2 million year old fossils indicate. Now you got to be careful in reading and learn to read between the lines. Because what they're talking about is this. <laughs> That's Gracilla Apithecus. That's what they're talking about. <laughs> okay? Uh, Grace, sorry, Graceo, Graceopithecus Freybergi. So they're going back to apes. Basically, apes that started to walk upright. And the Europeans hate the idea that they came out of Africa. They've tried this several times. Uh, they, England created something called the Pelt Down Man. Let's see if I can show you that. Debunked. They fucking fabricated a paleontological hoax. They try to call it a hoax. No, England believed that shit. They created this, this, these fake bones. Because they don't want to be out of Africa. They don't want to be out of Africa. But we look at the blood, and from 95 to 90% of their DNA comes from Africans. Or is from out of Africa, I should say. Because 5 to 10% is Neanderthal. And Neanderthal, as I showed you recently, they are not subhumans. Neither is this. So these uh, two archaeologists put forth a paper suggesting that, because the bones, the tooth, they found a tooth really, uh, is, close, is similar to humans. And it's 7.1 million years old. They're suggesting that maybe life began in East Africa. East Africa, if you don't know, is what England, the English again, renamed the Middle East. England renamed that part of, of Africa, of Africa, the Middle East. To separate it from Africa. So this article says the first hominid species, a line that eventually leads to humans, may have emerged in Europe. Some said may. You gotta watch the wording. May. Okay? There's these guys that put put out a paper. Uh, it's not getting wide success though. Seven point two years ago years ago, and not Africa. And of course, as we know that racism is rampant. In Egyptology, also in all of the sciences out there. If you remember the uh, the head of the um, genetic society, he said black people are descended from from apes, which actually isn't true. Then he found out that his grandmother was half black. He resigned. He fucking resigned and disappeared. Wow. That's some serious hateration. They keep trying. He's right. They do keep trying. They're, they're trying to suggest that white people descended out of Neanderthals. But Neanderthals are not human. Yes, if you're white, you have between, I think it's five, or no, actually three and ten percent. Your minimum is three. Three and ten percent Neanderthal DNA. If you're European descent. Uh, they found that the Australians, they were black, but they also have Denisovan DNA. There were many different types of humans on the planet, is the point. There were, there were humanoids, I should say. Not humans, but humanoids. There were Neanderthals, Denisovans, and there was another one, I just keep always forget the name. 
Then they found the Hobbit people in, in uh, New Zealand. There were many different prototypes of human, but the African human prototype won. We went into Europe, met the Neanderthals, we interbred with them, we came out of the, the last ice age as Europeans, but we still beat them. They wanted to say that the Neanderthals had bigger brains, but they shouldn't sure use them. They lost. We got their women. The International team of scientists have, has presented two studies that suggest the divergence point between chimpanzees and humans took they haven't found the missing link. This is just some guy's article, by the way. Hannah, uh, Hannah Osborne. Hannah Osborne is writing this article. That's all she's doing. On something that had, uh, an idea that came out, a paper that came out. Their findings published in PLOS One. Let's go to the source. Abstract. What does abstract mean? Exactly. Let's see. There's a grace, uh, grace opithecus. Now, the one that I know, I'm familiar with, is um, uh, Lucy. Lucy came out of that one. Let's see. What was that? I want to say, yeah, Australopithecus. Australopithecus. The famous Lucy fossils. Now she's 3.5 million years old. Found in Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania area. Yeah, I said 3 million years old. That's about correct. And that's what she's supposed to look like. Uh, yeah. Why don't we have her DNA within us. We should be able to find her DNA within mankind. Okay, so. Currently dated is missing at 7.1. Okay, 7.24. Okay. Mainly based on its external preser sorry, preservation and previously vague dating. Hmm. Vague dating. Okay. Well, let's go back to her article then. Since uh, they can't give us good information. I mean, they're already saying vague dating. Both fossils, a lower jaw and upper premolar, were examined using state-of-the-art computer tomology, allowing the scientists to look at their internal structures. Their findings show the teeth are fused in a way that is characteristic of early humans. Characteristic. It's characteristic. That means it's not exact. Including, the, and this one is a new one for me, Artipithecus versus Australopithecus. Or Australopithecus. The latter with which yeah, the famous Lucy belongs to. The jawbone also had dental features that appear to belong to a pre-human Pre does not mean human, rather than an ancient chimp. And they still haven't found the missing link yet that connects us to those. And they gave it a date. So this raised the possibility that fossils represent the oldest hominin ever discovered. Now she's writing this in her, with her own thoughts. you got to recognize that these are her thoughts. And she works for, of course, Yahoo. And Yahoo is known for its race race stuff. Researchers say environmental changes cause the divergence and use geological analysis to reconstruct the conditions from the Sahara to the Mediterranean. Well, uh, I'm not sure if they know this, they're aware of this, but th that Sahara wasn't a Sahara back then. It was fertile, green, green. I don't know if this woman knows this. It was, it was fertile and green. But reconstruct conditions from the Sahara to the Mediterranean during this time period. They showed that the desert would have spread far into southern Europe, create a barrier between Africa. See, that's they're, they're wrong right there. We all know that the Sahara Desert was actually fertile. They found 
um, um, cave paintings. And I think it's called Wadi Suli. Nope. Wadi Suli. Let me see if something will come up. Okay. Wadi. Yeah, here it is right here. So they found these. I hate when white folks do this shit. <laughs> Call them aliens. They found these these cave paintings, over 5,000 of them, out in the middle of the fucking desert. And it showed it showed uh, uh, water, and, it, and they, they painted animals, and stuff like that. Let's see, Wadi Cave Paintings. How about shit? I was going to do a video on this last week, so I was just looking at the last week. Come on, YouTube's going real slow. Let me get back to this while we're waiting. The study has been met with skepticism because the vast majority of fossil evidence appears to suggest our ancestors emerged in Africa and migrated outwards. Now, they also got to take into account that the belief, there's a belief that it was all just one continent. If, and it was called Pangaea. Now, so that doesn't make any difference where life if it was just one continent back then, it doesn't make a difference where life life started. Human, what makes a difference is where human life began. And human life began in Africa. That's what separates the difference from these types of things. It's lower jawbone, uh, Gracilopithecus from Greece. Gracilopithecus is potentially the oldest known hominin. Their conclusion is still bold. What they are definitely suggesting is that rather than the divergence point that actually lead us the hominin route being in Africa, they are strongly suggesting in both papers that it is the eastern Mediterranean, that part they call that's East Africa. Okay, uh, they, They're suggesting also that the land masses were connected. It is certainly impossible, not impossible, uh, this art, or they're, they're, she's quoting, uh, the rate we are finding out about our hominin ancestors in terms of their evolutionary story over the last five years has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, who is she quoting? Okay, Cole. Okay, Cole says that the studies show that there was a connection, a connected landmass between Africa and Europe, yes. Again, one big landmass, and the desert between them created a barrier, but there was no desert. There was no desert during that time period. But the fossilized hominin is not necessarily our earliest ancestors, and may have separated uh, from some other earlier species, blah, blah, blah. So they're going back to this, which is pretty desperate. And Europeans have been trying that for a while to separate their their lineage from Africa. But when you do the DNA test, it shows they all possess African DNA within them. Period. The blood doesn't lie. Period. So this paper was suggested, and Yahoo's blown it up. And you're going to see the racists are going to jump on it. And say, we're not from Africa. We're not out of Africa. They're going to love this shit. That's probably why. Um, shit. 
going to come up. See here, the Sahara Desert was once green. That's well known. Handprints in Sahara Cave may have been created by, ah, oh God, Stone Age lizards. No, what they learned, what they figured out was that the artist used, um, to decorate, they used lizard hands to decorate the walls. Because they they actually measured and they figured, realized these are lizard hands. 13 tiny hand imprints in a... Let's see if we can show it to us. Children. There it is. New research now. Yeah, here we go. Claims that they may have been created by lizards. Anthropologists. See, people are jumping on and fantasizing about shit. Uh, lizard men. But as you can see, it wasn't a desert. Yeah, they're going real crazy with it now. Algerian Sahara rock painting was astonished by world by the world. Okay, what is this? Let's take a look at this, fellas, while I'm here. Unfortunately, YouTube is a little bit slow right now. Come on, you can do it. The arid wilderness of the Great Sahara. Three Let's just drop that. All I want to do is see the paintings. Oh, the same paintings. <coughs> yeah. And you see black people in the paintings. Okay? Black person. Prognostication, lips. And these are, I think they said they were 8,000 years old or something like that? Hunting. So they show what the area was like. They painted it. Or artists painted on on the walls there. So I wouldn't worry about this, this paper they're putting forth. They're just putting forth the paper. It's not that serious. They, they've done this before. It's not that serious. All right? <clears throat> 